Terayella. The last time we started talking about the three first cases, which are nominative, genitive and partitive. We already saw when do we use nominative and partitive. Today we will focus on the genitive. The noun that I used the last time to bring you examples was a friend, which is sõber in nominative, sõpra in partitive and in genitive it's sõbra. Genitive is a possessive case. We use genitive whenever in English you would have an apostrophe and an S after that. For example, see on minu sõbra raamat. This is my friend's book. Or see on minu sõbra sõber. This is my friend's friend. Or minu sõbra auto on must. My friend's car is black. The genitive is also important because we form the plural of nominative with it. That means friends without the apostrophe. The plural of nominative is the genitive form plus the letter D. So friends would be sõbra and D. Sõbrad. We also use genitive form for all the other 11 cases that we have in Estonian which are nothing more than just some endings or case suffixes that we add to the genitive form. For example, if we add ga to the genitive form, we are saying with a friend, sõbraga. Or if we add ta, then we are saying without a friend, sõbratta. We will see the other cases in the next videos, but just remember that all the case endings are added to the genitive form. To summarize the three first and the only grammatical cases in Estonian, then nominative is used with a subject. Genitive is a possessive case. But we also use genitive to form the plural of nominative and to form all the other 11 cases in Estonian. Partitive is used with an object. We also use partitive with all the numbers except from one and with the negation. Maybe the complicated part about these three cases is that you cannot really predict the forms and they can be different depending on the noun. We can see the three forms of some of the nouns that we have learned. Sõber, sõbra, sõpra. Raamat, raamatu, raamatut. Laud, laua, lauda. Telekas, telekka, telekat. So there is no one rule how to form genitive or partitive. There are some patterns, but I still recommend you to learn the three forms when you learn a new noun. These were the three first cases in Estonian. The next videos will already be much easier since we're going to talk about the other cases which, as you remember, are nothing more than just some endings that you add to the genitive form. Aitäh vaatamast! Thank you for watching! Head aega!